Good morning, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm not here to talk about any specific piece of gear, but to hypnotize you with what I've been quietly working on. First off, I'd like to point out this awesome t-shirt that I'm wearing, which I designed and printed by myself, and that you can get to support the Anamorphic Cookbook, but mainly to look super cool among your spherical shooting pals. Just head on to the store through this link, and there you can get yours. It's $25 per shirt, including shipping, all through PayPal, quick and easy. Now that that's out, one thing that you should have noticed was the classy intro sequence for this video, which will be opening all videos from now on. It was a pain to shoot and an even bigger pain to edit. Not having a macro lens around made the task impossible, to the point that I had to go out and get myself a Pentax 50 macro, just for this. The whole thing was shot in Rob's Kin Mini at 120 frames per second, 2K, Kini Raw encoded. And the camera was the easiest part to handle. Getting the lenses in focus, that was painful. Also, editing half a terabyte of slow mo footage into 10 pretty seconds was quite a challenge. I hope the subjects in this video don't seem totally disconnected, even though they kind of are. And if you don't follow my blog, just the YouTube channel, you're missing out on the awesome anamorphic calculator. After replying to hundreds, thousands of people asking me which taking lens goes with each anamorphic, I took the matter seriously and came up with this multifunction calculator that tells you when you should start to get vignetting based on your taking lens, your anamorphic, your sensor size, and your focal reducer. I think I covered all the options out there, but just in case, there are custom fields that let you input whichever numbers you like if you don't find the ones you want. Also, the calculator tells you the resulting horizontal field of view and your final product aspect ratio. Some of these operations can be reversed and you can ask the calculator which uh, taking lens will give you a specific horizontal field of view or even which crop will give you a desired final aspect ratio. I'm aware there are exceptions and just as I said in the calculators post, once you figure out your anamorphic, you should conduct specific research about the lens you want. And by conduct specific research, I don't mean send me a message. From now on, I'll stop replying to blunt questions about gear, like where can I find diopters for my co-op? Or does the rangefinder work with the Cinelux? I mean, I'm also a person, so maybe starting with a hi or hello, how are you doing? is a good thing. Also, including a please in the message might help. If you're gonna send me a message, be 100% sure that you can't find the answers in any of my previous posts. Replying to these messages eats up too much of the time that I could be focusing on relevant research. If you're feeling lost and abandoned, feel free to express your concerns and your doubts on Facebook or on EOS HD forum. There are plenty of anamorphic users there, myself included, capable of providing you with the answers you need. If you think I'm the only person that is capable of finding you an answer, go ahead and message me, but be aware that I might not reply. On the bright side, the number of in-depth posts as well as the progress on the anamorphic cookbook should increase. Speaking of the cookbook, this is my second take at an anamorphic guide of sorts. The first one, the anamorphic on a budget, was a good start, but many subjects were left out because I didn't have the experience back then or I wasn't even aware they existed. Now I'm going to try to cover a lot more ground. The cookbook is meant to have deeper analysis and conclusions. It's going to be useful to any anamorphic enthusiast out there, as well as for anyone willing to learn more about these lenses. I'm going deeper into the whole diopter party or how taking lenses affect the resulting image, how to fake the look in more effective ways, and a lot more important points. If you want to check a more detailed overview of my goals, click on this link. This kind of research requires gear that I don't currently have, which implies there will be expenses. For that reason, I'm putting the Anamorphic Cookbook on Kickstarter. You can get yours there for a lower price than the real price of when it comes out, officially. And you can also use this opportunity to get some useful trinkets such as this amazing t-shirt, or anamorphic Helios lenses, or oval aperture discs. 
and even advice on a Skype call for a specific project. Keep in mind that whatever amount raised there is crucial for the tests and research featured on the book. You are literally helping me to keep going and speeding up the process. Now, if you want to be notified whenever there's a new post or update to the Anamorphic Cookbook, just send an email to news at anamorphiccookbook.com. That's it for this video. Subscribe to the channel for getting updates as soon as I upload new episodes. And also head on to the blog to check all the cool stuff that was mentioned throughout the video. Uh, I'll see you soon. Chit out.